Hello and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle, I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. What's the youngest age that you can legally possess a firearm here in Canada? Well, to answer that, we're going to look at minors' firearms licenses. The youngest age to get a full regular firearms license is 18, but we actually have a special provision for licenses for people under 18. So we'll start by just looking at the law here. And this is from the Firearms Act. It says special cases, persons, uh, so minors, an individual who is less than 18 years old and who is otherwise eligible to hold a license. So you have to pass all of the same background check aspects. Um, if you have a criminal record or a firearms prohibition, uh, those can cause a, a major interference in that. So they still have to go through the same background check elements as anyone else. Um, is not eligible to hold a license except as provided in this section. So these are the only ways that you can get a firearms license if you're under 18. So the first one is minors hunting as a way of life. And that is an individual who's less than 18 years old and who hunts or traps as a way of life is eligible to hold a license if the individual needs to hunt or trap in order to sustain himself or herself or his or her family. So this is in recognition of the fact that Canada has a hunting and trapping culture and many people still engage in that in a way of as a way of life. It's how they sustain themselves. It's not just sort of a hobby or anything else. Uh, the next provision is for hunting, etc. So an individual who is 12 years old or older, but less than 18 years old is eligible to hold a license authorizing the individual to possess in accordance with the conditions attached to the license, a firearm for the purpose of target practice, hunting or instruction in the use of firearms, or for the purpose of taking part in an organized competition. So you might be saying, why do they have those two subsections, subsection two and subsection three here? Well, what this does is it actually creates a sort of tiered system of age limits. So if you are doing it for target practice or instruction or any of those things, and it's not a way of life, then you have to be at least 12 years old in order to get a minor's firearms license. But if it is a way of life, then there is actually no age restriction so long as you are otherwise eligible to hold a license, which in some ways is going to be an age restriction. It's not a formal age restriction. So officially, in theory, um, you could potentially get one like right as soon as the, you know, the kid's just been born and fills out a life, you know, an application and is less than a year old. In practice, though, a, a one year old is never going to meet the criteria of being able to to handle all the other requirements, including taking the firearm safety course, but also just, you know, you're not going to trust a one year old with a shotgun. So there is an age requirement there, but it's still kind of a soft age limit. And what is it? Well, we don't know. And it's probably going to differ from child to child because different children achieve maturity at different levels. Now, there are some restrictions on this. And the first one here is no prohibited or restricted firearms. So this doesn't allow you to have, for instance, handguns and certainly no prohibited firearms. But it actually includes something else that I think is a little funny. So it says an individual who is less than 18 years old is not eligible to hold a license authorizing the individual to possess, so you can't have these on your own, prohibited firearms or restricted firearms or to acquire firearms or crossbows. Now, they say no prohibited or restricted firearms, but this clause actually goes much beyond that. They can't hold a license authorizing them to acquire firearms at all. So a minor who has the, uh, somebody with a minor's firearms license is not eligible to go into the store and buy themselves a rifle or a shotgun or anything along those lines. Uh, what they have to do instead is they'd have to have their parent, who of course would then need to have a firearms license themselves, uh, buy that or, you know, some other trusted person and then loan that gun to the miner. So the miner can then go hunting with it or go uh, to target practice on their own. It does allow for the purchase of ammunition, however, so that with the miner's license, they can go and buy ammo. Now, it says that they can't get a license to buy crossbows. At one point, the government was contemplating this idea that they were going to restrict crossbows the same way that they restrict firearms, but they didn't actually end up doing it. So you don't need a license to go buy a crossbow. You can buy a crossbow without a license, um, but miners can't get a license to buy one. Well, okay, it's, it's an unnecessary license. This is kind of a legal uh, vestige. 
it's uh it's leftover law that should really be cleaned up but the process of cleaning up the law is a long and onerous one so nobody ever does uh consent of parent or guardian is required so an individual who's less than 18 years old is eligible to hold a license only if a parent or gar or parent or person who has custody of the individual has consented in writing or in any other manner that is satisfactory the chief firearms officer to the issuance of the license often that's done by phone call uh, they have a, an interview with the with the parent so all of this provides for this system whereby minors in some circumstances can get a firearms license but what about minors who don't have one or who want to for instance go and do target practice but with a handgun well this only provides for the licensing system that allows the minors to possess these on their own but the criminal code itself allows for an exemption to the normal principles of you can't have something without a license if you are under the direct and immediate supervision of somebody who does have a license so that allow that's another way that uh, that minors can be taken shooting if you want to you just have to have somebody else uh, who is licensed standing over them sort of right there so that they can intervene and so that's how people under 18 can participate in for instance handgun shooting competitions which is important because if you want to compete sort of at an olympic level or anything like that you want to get really good with a handgun um, you probably want to start early i mean the top shooters are all people who started at least i I think they're all people who started very early in life and thus have had more practice time. You know, if you think about it, you're competing in your 20s. Would you rather have two years of experience under your belt or 10 years of experience under your belt? Right? Makes sense. All right. So I know that there's, you know, this is a bit of a controversial thing because um, some people sort of in the firearm community look at this and they say, well, why don't we just make it so that young people can get a full firearms license or at least allow them a minor's license that in some circumstances could, for instance, let them take a handgun to the range. Um, so that's one sort of take on things. And you also get people who are more anti-gun going, oh my God, you let kids have guns? And realistically, of course we do. You know, if you look in indigenous communities, you've got people hunting and learning to hunt at a very, very early age. Um, and just in hunting families, you know, this people go hunting. And I think that the sort of the controversy or the conflict on this one really uh, reveals the great divide that we have between um, sort of urban Canadians and rural Canadians and how little understanding there is uh, between the two groups of the other and sort of their way of life. And especially um, the urban lack of understanding of the sort of rural uh, mindset and rural living experience. So I think the, you know, I think the minor's licenses are overly restrictive, but um, they're not likely to change anytime soon. So largely you can just have a look at this and, you know, hopefully this has provided some, a greater understanding of what the law is. Let me know in the comments below if you have questions. Um, this is a real common topic, but just to really sum up here, a minor who has a license, you know, it has to be for specified purposes. If it's, uh, so hunting is a way of life at any age or from 12 to 18, hunting, target shooting, instruction, uh, other reasonable purposes. And it doesn't allow you to buy guns. It allows you to borrow guns from somebody who already has a license, but it does allow you to possess them on your own, non-restricted only, as well as to uh, to possess am or to purchase ammunition and to possess it. So that's sort of a quick summation. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this one has been interesting and educational. I thought I'd do a shorter video today both because I'm in the middle of doing some trial prep for a very important trial, as well as just, I've done some long ones and I kind of like to mix it up because I know that the long ones can be a bit of an ordeal. So thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreon supporters at the $50 level, uh, Jonathan Wheeler, Canada's National Firearms Association, Kyle Martin, the CCFR and the Canadian Shooting Sports Association, at the $30 level, Sites and Arms Limited and Mark Olivier Demour, and at the $20 level, Peter Hilger, Mark Whittington, Jane Babe and Luxor, Haywire, Dale Nesbitt, Cameron Johnson, Bruno R., Andrew Elsich, and Aaron Delso. 
Thank you as well to my $10 supporters who are in the crawl immediately following. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has armed you with knowledge.